Hi. Today we are going to learn about Fourier transform. Actually, it is an extension of Fourier series. What we do in Fourier series? We express a function f of x, that is a periodic function f of x, in terms of sines and cosines. Periodic function, if you see this graph, it starts from 0 and the pattern goes like this. From 2 pi, the pattern is repeating. So, it is a periodic function. And we still want to get the same result or benefit from a non-periodic function also. So, we will consider the non-periodic function, complete non-periodic function as one period and we will try to express that in terms of sinusoids, that is sines and cosines. So, eventually a Fourier transform decompose a function of time domain into frequency domain. So, basically it is easy to filter the sound. Even image is also another kind of signal. When sound is recorded digitally, the strength of sound wave itself can be recorded. That is the dot waveform. Eventually, what we are doing in Fourier transform, from time domain, this transform changes to frequency domain. And in frequency domain, it is easy for us. Even some differential equations are easy to analyze in frequency domain. And we will get the result. To get back into the same format, we will use inverse Fourier transform to change the result again to time domain. So, few applications are in uh, quantum mechanics and uh, signal processing etc. Now, see the definition. So, here after instead of writing Fourier transform, we will write ft. Okay. So, f of f of x, given a function f of x, Fourier transform of the function is nothing but integral minus infinity to infinity e power i u x f of x dx. As I told you, once we learn Fourier transform, it will be completely in terms of u when we change a function f of x. So, we will denote it as f of u since it is in frequency domain. When coming to the inverse Fourier transform, we want it in the same format again, right, in terms of x. So, we are writing f of x is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity e power minus i u x f of u du. This f of u is nothing but Fourier transform of a function. As I told you, this will be in terms of u. So, to get back to the same format in terms of x, we will use f of u to get the inverse Fourier transform. So, it is something like this. Given a function f of x, we are applying Fourier transform getting the function in terms of u, f of u. Again applying inverse Fourier transform to get it again in terms of x. So, this is the basic definition of Fourier transform. And you will be wondering where are those sinusoids, that is sines and cosines. If you just notice this, uh, e power i u x. What is e power i u x? e power i theta is a combination of cos theta plus i sin theta. So, it is a um, sine and cosine only, but in another form, that is it. Now, let us see this interesting problem. Obtain the complex infinite Fourier transform for the function f of x is equal to 1 mod x less than or equal to a and 0 mod x greater than a and hence evaluate integral 0 to infinity sin x by x dx. And if you see this um, uh, in MCQ questions in aptitude problem, they will ask this integral 0 to infinity sin x by x is what? So, we are going to use Fourier transform to solve this integral. Okay. So, now if you see the definition, what is the definition formula? We have learnt integral minus infinity to infinity. We have written the same e power i u x. And then the place of f of x, it is my problem, right? So, f of x dx. But what is my function? My function is 1 when mod x is less than or equal to a and 0 when mod x is greater than a. Now, here we have to be very careful. Integral minus infinity to infinity, I am going to split it as integral minus infinity to minus a. Again, minus a to a, then a to infinity. I repeat, we are going to split this interval. Very simple. So, it starts from minus infinity, right? If you see this, I have just split this minus infinity to infinity as minus infinity to minus a plus minus a to a plus a to infinity. What is given in the question for mod x less than or equal to a, my function value is 1. 
What do you mean by mod x less than or equal to a from minus a to a function value is 1. So that is why we are splitting like this. So in this interval also the function is 0. In this interval also the function is 0. And it is only valid in the interval minus a to a. So your problem in the integration from minus infinity to infinity you will change it as minus a to a and replace f of x by 1. This is what given in the question. So now if you see this problem integral minus infinity to infinity became minus a to a. So in the place of f of x I have written 1 and then e power i u x. So is that clear? So we have just replaced the value. My function value is 1 because it is given in the question. Integral minus infinity to infinity became integral minus a to a because only in that interval my function exists and e power i u x dx. How simple it is. You are just going to integrate e power i u x. e power i u x if you integrate that is e power 5x if you integrate e power 5x by 5. We will write the constant. Here what is the constant? i u is the constant. So I have written i u in the denominator. Now we are going to apply upper limit and lower limit. Okay. Upper limit is nothing but small a. So e power i u a minus lower limit is minus a. e power minus i u a divided by i u. i u is just a constant you can throw it outside. So you are just applying the upper limit and lower limit. The problem is actually over. We got the Fourier transform for the given function. What we are going to do is we are just going to simplify it. e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. And e power minus i theta is cos theta minus i sin theta. So, if I uh, subtract these two, I will get sin x. Because in your question, what they asked, and hence evaluate sin x. So, I am trying to uh, write it in terms of sin, my given question. So, keep this in mind. Okay. So, this is my function f of u. I got this answer, Fourier transform for the given function. But here in the question, they asked us to evaluate integral sin x by x. So, we are going to apply inverse Fourier transform. Whenever you see evaluate an integral, it means you are going to apply inverse Fourier transform. So, if you see this, we have just multiplied and divide by 2 and this e power i u a minus e power minus i u a by 2 i by formula it became sin a u because sin a u formula is this. You can directly take it as a formula or even I have shown the derivation also. Even if you forget the formula in the exam or whatever it is, it takes 2 minutes for you to find out what is the formula. e power i theta you know, cos theta plus i sin theta, e power minus i theta you know. So when you subtract these two, uh, we will get, these terms will get cancelled and then, uh, sorry, cos x will get cancelled and we will get 2 sin terms. So i is there bringing it down. So this is my answer, f of u is equal to 2 by u sin a u Fourier transform of the given function now I have to evaluate this integral so I am going to use inverse Fourier transform what is the formula for inverse Fourier transform 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity e power minus i u x f of u du we will not write f of x because once we find the Fourier transform if you remember my function is f of u not f of x if you see the right hand side it is in terms of u so it is f of u so we will write f of u in the formula that is the answer we got right what is the answer we got um, 2 by u sin a u so we are replacing it 2 by u sin a u e power minus i u x please remember in uh, Fourier transform we will get e power i u x in the formula inverse transform it is e power minus i u x this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and then we will get integral minus infinity to infinity sin a u by u e power minus i u x. Now in this answer I am going to su substitute some suitable value for x. So I am going to substitute x as 0 because in the evaluate the integral if you see this this is what they have asked in the question I have only sin x by x that is sin of something by that and this e power i u x term is not there I want to make it as uh, 1. So e power anything power 0 is 1 so e power 0 it will become 1. So, f of 0, left hand side, replace x by 0. So, left hand side will become f of 0 is equal to 1 by pi integral minus infinity infinity sin a u by u e power minus i u 0. It became 1 in the next step. Now, if you see this 1 by pi integral minus infinity to infinity sin a u by u 
dx and if you see this it's almost similar to this here no need to integrate when you are applying inverse transform we didn't integrate anything without integrating i want to find the answer for this on the right hand side and if you see this this function is an even function okay why it's an even function it's not only sin au sin au by u together it's an even function if you replace uh, you remember the checking procedure integral minus pi to pi replace x by minus x right if i replace u by minus u sin of minus theta is minus sin theta and denominator minus u will get cancelled so automatically the function is an even function you can even you can see this sin of minus au will become minus sin au and denominator replace u by minus u we are getting a negative sign this negative and negative will become positive i'll get the same function or if you have a doubt you can just substitute these values in the graphical calculator and you can find it so either replace x by minus x we are getting the same function therefore the function is even what we will do if the function is even integral of uh, minus infinity to infinity will become 2 into integral 0 to infinity same thing we have done in fourier series also that is i am saying that even function is just a mirror image instead of finding entire from minus infinity to infinity let me find for one half and multiplying by so uh, this is a particular case because in your uh, formula it's sin x by x so substitute a as 1 so sin u by u so left hand side we have 1 1 is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity sin u by u du this is what we want integral 0 to infinity sin u by u so pushing this 2 by pi to the other side will become pi by 2 okay how left hand side became 1 we are just replacing x by 0 in the given function because the given function is value is 1 in the interval minus a to a 0 is in between the interval from minus a to a because in the line it's like minus a will be there on the negative side plus a will be on the positive side 0 will be in between so 0 is included in the function so f of 0 is 1 in this problem that is why in this side you got 1 so what is the value of uh, finally we are replacing u by x everything is same right so integral 0 to infinity sin x by x dx is pi by 2 we didn't integrate it if you notice we didn't integrate anywhere we have just used the formula we have integrated in the first half in finding the Fourier uh, transform but always in inverse Fourier transform please keep this in mind don't touch the integration symbol if I touch it and if I have calculated it I will not be able to find the value of the given uh, question so you can memorize this integral 0 to infinity sin x by x dx is pi by 2 and you may get these type of questions in the aptitude we will see one more problem in the next video